Shares of some quantum computing stocks are spiking after Microsoft announced a new quantum breakthrough yesterday. And it's not the only tech giant placing big bets on the rapidly advancing industry. Kate Rooney has the latest in today's Tech Check. Hey, Kate. Hey, Mike. Good to see you. Yeah, so quantum computing is really becoming table stakes for big tech. It's seen as the next frontier of computing with Microsoft, Google, and Amazon all betting on this future type of computing. Google is still seen as the leader in what is considered by far the world's best quantum computer at this point. Microsoft, though, looking to chip away at that lead, unveiling Myorna One. It's a quantum computing chip, says it has also, as part of this, discovered a new state of matter. They say eventually that could leapfrog others in the space, or at least that is the expectation. I did speak to Peter Barrett on this uh, this morning. He is an investor at Playground VC, longtime tech and quantum investor. He's pretty skeptical, says Microsoft's breakthrough is still extremely theoretical and says the team at Microsoft has been working on this novel type of physics for almost two decades at this point. It is something that could eventually translate into practical engineering and that the update does move Microsoft closer to that goal. But it is a step along what could be a long journey to produce those machines at scale. Unlike Google, Microsoft does not have a working quantum computer at this point. They published these findings in an academic journal yesterday or this week, and then that real-world impact and the hype that we have seen in this space, it comes from the technology's potential and what it could mean for solving complex math problems using quantum physics, and hence the name quantum, could be applied to things like drug discovery, think of aerospace, encryption, materials, genomics, energy, a lot more. And Barrett says, at the very least, Microsoft News here, and what we saw this week proves that the leaders of some of the largest companies on the planet are now realizing how important quantum is, and then he says nobody is willing to sit on the sidelines anymore. And while there was almost no impact, you didn't see much happen to Microsoft's stock on this news. It did boost some of the publicly traded quantum names. Think of Regetti, IonQ, you can see, saw quite the boost this week. This has really been a corner of tech that has been the speculative momentum play du jour in markets as investors really try to jump on the next big thing. If you think about the breakthrough we saw from Google in the fall, that was really the linchpin for the rally that we saw Last year, and these stocks have been on a tear. Google, as I mentioned, in the fall did have a breakthrough that caught a lot of attention. It, it proved they could solve a math problem in five minutes using a quantum computer that would have taken a supercomputer, the computer that exists right now, 10 septillion years to do the same math problem. Amazon, we should mention, also working on quantum computing. And then you have NVIDIA, another player in this space. It's got a quantum computing platform. And then you think back to comments we heard from Jensen Wong, the CEO, he ended up tanking the stocks in this sector when he said the practical use was actually decades away from having any sort of real-world impact. We are going to see if that's the case in March. NVIDIA's got its GTC conference. It's going to feature an entire quantum day with some of the leaders in this space. I would expect some debate on that timeline, guys. Back to you.